Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to episode 6 of Planet Has, the Lunar Flying Squirrels. What a name. <laughs> Last, we're, we're back, we're back, big episode 6, I guess it's kind of the halfway point of uh, season 1. Um, Last time we had that that multiple plotline story going, one with the family uh, and the little girl, voiced by Satoko. Mm -hmm. Then you got the, the illegal movie crew directing on the cruise ship. And uh, then you got the thief, thief man. It was a pretty fun episode, and it was interesting um, to kind of get off the main spaceship, see see how they're chilling on a cruise. Um, I wonder. Uh, so for the preview of this episode, they did like, from what I remembered, it did seem like it was also off the ship. I wonder if this is like close to the last episode, because um, maybe they're still on vacation or something, or maybe it is a job, but it. From my memory, it was like Tanabe like checking into a hotel, like on some uh, I assume a planet. It would be interesting to uh, visit a planet in this, cause uh, we we heard like some people going to uh, Neptune or Uranus or something. So I assume they have um settled on most planets in the in the universe. So. Or whatever, whatever, whatever our section is. Is it universe? Is it galaxy? I think that's universe. Galaxy sounds bitter. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Last episode was fun for sure, man. That that, that was some good stuff. <laughs> Let's see uh, how this one goes. Um, yeah, it's weird. I really don't remember much about the preview. It was literally just like Tanabe checking into a hotel, which me literally means like nothing to me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, my copy of the episode is 25 minutes and 1 seconds, and at the end of the episode, we'll talk about it, you know, get ready for the full-length reaction, um, drinks, snacks, of course, classic drink here, Coke and whiskey. I think I like the Japanese whiskey a little more, not just because we're a weeb, I think it mixes better with Coke, or it's a little stronger mix, but this is... It. It's good. It's good enough. It's good enough for my amateur taste buds. Um, but yeah, let's get this episode started. Uh, so get your copy of the episode, and we're starting in three, two, one, go! Of course, gotta start with our intro. Of course, it's really loud. <laughs> Oof. Oh, what's this? This isn't the intro. Prologue. Oh, we're on the moon! Alright, that looked like the moon. Maybe, yeah, I think this is right after, right? Because they were on a cruise that went to the moon, right? What the heck? Cute little ump's pretty dead. Probably not an angel. That's rough. Or are they back from the vacation? No, I assume they're at the vacation because she's talking about how the gravity's different. We're back! Let's uh, do the opening. Alright, cute little prologue. And then they have such a fun dynamic, Tanabe and Hachi. Hachimaki. Isn't uh, Yuri on the cruise too? Wasn't he there? I don't remember. I think he was there too. The monkey. 
He's just vibing, dude. Ba 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 Okay, let's get into it. Trend something. Luna! Okay. As per usual. Bottom. Arnold. I wonder if they're named off like moon people. What that? It's a tiny present. One. Hello. Sullivan. Hachi! That's who's delivering the gift. Two. Ah, He's actually just vibing. Oh, climbing. <laughs> oh, was that a hesitant smile? I don't know if he's shooting a shot. <laughs> Based if he is. Yo, this place is a dumb foot that. I guess even the moon is affected by uh wealth disparities. <laughs> what the heck? He's tweaked out of his mind. Basin de Yashiki. Aww. <laughs> The full wraparound. I'd be pretty scared too, honestly. Oh, that's a nifty way. Bells. Yeah, security. Kill trips. Ninja Jar. Okay, wait, this guy's sick. This is a sick hotel. I wouldn't be scared anymore. Ninja. Koga. And it's not even Japanese. Based. Oh. Yep. Ooh. Those are some big shurikens. They're huge. Have fun, Tanabe. What? What the? Oh. What the? There's more. Bro, she really sounds like Mion in this, this scene. I love it. Tanabe. 
Oh, that's a Naruto move? Ninja enjoyers, dude. I see. So all the weebs move to the moon in the future. Fair enough. Yo, Bruce Lee! Why do you send them to the ninja place? Oh, for Japanese people. Don't you? F I mean, I guess it is kind of. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think that's racist. It's appreciation, not appropriation. Though it is cringe. <laughs> Nah. Whoa, yo, that's some strats. Also, great shot. She's not having it. Ninpo? Bro, yo, that's actually some nifty shit. That's some nifty moves. Woo! Uh, oh, oh, oh. Dead. Radley Ho. What the? Ultimate move? Yo. Nice. Leapfrog with people. Ooh. I respect the final stand. I mean, he wears the headband too. He kind of fits in. And he's actually Japanese. Yo! Our boy Chen. With a Tanabe's friend on a date. You love to see it. Yo, he's kinda dripped out. She's actually kinda dripped out more. Kinda done crazy. <laughs> ooh. Ooh. Yo. I mean he's a, he's always been sick at uh Gravity maneuvers. Oh, God. They're loving it, dude. Yep. Actually dead? Taname just murdered him? What are you doing? He's alive! I guess Tanity in zero gravity it would be less effective. Yes, this is how Japanese people greet each other. It, that's what I was saying. He kind of fits in, man. He wears a headband. I like these weebs. They're cute. <laughs> Marry a geisha girl. Mitlanda. The Nojo. Sanji! Jiraiya? Ah, with the fraud! That has to be on purpose. Trading for Bruce Lee. Hey, no bully! Well, Hachi, you're not a debt to your meeting, man. Uh, 
<laughs> Surely. Weebs are truly the most oppressed people in the world. Proven. Proven by Planetus. Thank you for showing this deep message. I agree. You should get a tax exemption in Canada if you're a a, you're an, uh, a weeb. <laughs> Bruh. Bro, it is crushed. Oh, she loves it. At least it's good. Okay. What is this? What is this? Why? <laughs> Base? She's a foreigner? Yo, she's a weep too! And she likes Japanese dyes at us. Is that why they sent Hoshino? The eye candy? Yeah! <laughs> okay. Cute. She is cute though. Put her on a throne. Unemployed weeb gang. <laughs> uh. Ah. Yeah. Uh, they got scammed. That's a lucky huge scam play. <laughs> Kunichi. That's a female ninja. I actually learned that from Rance. I honestly thought they were the same thing for a while. Though I think Konichi, like, the more, like, sex ninjas. Like, they use their looks to get in and then kill. Though, maybe not. <laughs> I don't, that's not how they're using it. Aww. Life is hard, man. Just in general. I know we're memeing a lot, but... It's rough. Yeah, the smoker. Jesus. Bro, it's 2075. You're still smoking indoors? A Tosan? Oh, she was married to the hot girl. And they're both weebs. It can work again. Oh my god. Rip. This is crazy. <laughs> Kind of spitting though. She's gonna punch him. Tanabe's a average puncher. Grab her. That's an angry Shion voice. Mm -hmm. 
Take the words of wisdom from a real Japanese person. <laughs> We're going in. The fucking spot. Konichi's our girls. Stop saying that. You're just ninjas. I think I need. We'll have to Google it. Chubby Bruce Lee kind of hits different. Aw. Sumo Spearman's not coming. Well, he does have a wife and kids. He's like, <laughs> I mean, no. No! Okay. Bro, these guys are insane, by the way. This had so much bravery and probably just, like, a lot of stupidity. Yo, fan it out. Nimpo, Nimpo, fan technique. But you are insane. Does he even know about it? <laughs> Oh, oh. Yo. <laughs> They're kind of popping off. Bamboo streams. Bro, these guys are gonna die, man. Or than it. Yo, that's a huge fire truck. It's chunky as fuck. Bro, these guys are. L I love how they're still memeing, but this is literally a life and death situation. Holy shit. Kinda did a chat, honestly. Oh. Hachi strat. Yo! Based. Kogenta. He's actually a genius. Jesus. So clutch. <laughs> True. True. Let's go! <laughs> Hachi hits it so much. Why is that? Yo! I love how they're all doing it. Even the girl. Yo! Flying Squirrel! It's the title! <laughs> what the heck, dude? Real life ninjas. Imagine. Just watching this while you're chilling on the moon. Yo, give some jobs now, bro. They're, 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 they're lunar heroes. It's gonna hurt. Oh, yeah. Tanabe was saying that. <laughs> Why would he send Hachi without knowing? Saizo. Ah. Two years. Yo. 
Gala Ninja. Forty ninth. Oh no. I mean, she's cute though. Weeb girls, non desirable in the moon. Ow. What? What an episode. <laughs> it was so. I mean, it was serious too, but it's not like the last episode where it was like this comedic, but like a really serious scene. Like, yes, there was a super serious scene, but it felt like comedic throughout. <laughs> Ninja. Okay, I need to look up Konichi. Ko how, how do you even spell it? Konoichi. Konoichi. You'll learn the answer after the credits. I will not say. Or you can Google it yourself. I wonder if we'll see them again. I hope so. I mean, if Tanaba is living next to them and their neighbors, there's hope. But. <laughs> they were fun, man. Oh, I don't know if we can find them. We'll we have to go to the other voice actor site. Well, we can check. Ba 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 ba. Review me. I should trust your girl. That's a fat apple. Oh. The on Earth? Oh no, different planet. Ooh. Bro, they're on the moon still. This is, uh... Okay, anyways, thanks for watching the episode. Let me finish my thought. This is, uh... I assume the next episode's gonna be, um... Also, like, right after. So, the timeline's been pretty tight. I feel like there's been, like, bigger time jumps throughout, but... The last, uh, episode... Five sits, and I assume next episode, I've all been, like fairly close which is interesting um but yeah that was a that was a super fun episode it might be the most fun episode um i was saying in the credits like yes last episode was also really fun but when it when the emotional moment hit it like really hit harder for me um but this one when the emotional moment hit and when i say emotional i mean the life-threatening situation i guess you can probably compare it to a uh, tiny satoto getting a uh, held hostage in the last episode this one like yes they were literally like going to die in the fire but uh it didn't hit like oh i'm scared or nervous it was still just a meme which isn't like a bad thing for sure it's just a different uh excuse me the the woes of drinking a uh, coke and whiskey get a little little burpy um it's not a bad thing it's just a different change of pace from the norm because they usually are able to separate it but doing it like once in a while and then episodic i mean i guess it's not really episodic like like i was saying it's the pacings kind of change or the timelines kind of change to be more strictly after but um once in a while it's fine and it, it was really fun also answer answer we did have the question because they kept calling themselves konichis um, but that, that, that is for female ninjas, so I was right. I did, thank you, Ranch, for teaching me. I don't, I don't know, I might have been lying about saying they're more trained in, like, sex assassination, because that, that actually might just be Ranch talking. Because in Ranch, there are female ninjas, and then there's Tonichis, but, and ninjas, female ninjas just use ninja techniques, while Tonichis use, like, poison in private parts and seduction, stuff like that. Um. 
I mean, they said Tonichi to Tanabe, but then they're like, when they're running to the building, they're like, uh, when the guy's trying to solo and the other guy's like, oh, two Tonichis are better than one. Though I actually think, um, I actually think, um, it was on purpose because they're weebs. <laughs> so they, they just misunderstand some of the stuff. They were fun though, man. They were such, such fun cast characters. Um. There's a little bit of a clown fist at first when Hachi's just just fighting them off, man. Um, and I love their outfits, you know, the Bruce Lee one, the ninja one with uh, Jiraiya and the bunch of frauds. I assume that's a Naruto reference, which is honestly respectable. Um, there's another reference I doubt, but I forgot what they're... Oh, yeah, yeah. One was uh, the Monty die. I forgot his name. It starts with an S, but it's also a famous character. <laughs> There's probably more, but my my ninja lore isn't isn't as uh isn't on peak as as these guys, but yeah. So I guess this is it's interesting that Tanabe got a two year lease here. So I guess this is this is just where they stay when they're on vacation or what is it? Just off time duty? I guess like. Yeah, I guess, I know they're not working for cruises, but, like, I guess they're just, like, a, like seasons. Like, they probably, like, since they're technically, like, almost always on duty when they're in the space station, they get, like, instead of just vacation days, they probably get, like, uh, a couple vacation days at the same time. Just, like, extended. Just to make that less awkward. But, yeah, cool. cool. I don't know. Maybe we'll see them again. Topium. I don't think we need to see them again, but it was really fun, all of them. Also, you gotta question the chief. Man sent Hachi on a marriage meeting without telling him. Like, how would he think it would go? I just, like, the chief said Hachi wouldn't accept it, but... <laughs> Still. <laughs> I mean, I did, he had a shot, man. He had a shot. Just came with, like, this really fancy ring. Man, she, she, she has that thing for uh, Jap. She loves all things Japanese, including him. Um, man has the headband on, like, she, he also is the main, well, not the main, but he, like, a good, good, he gets a good amount of credit for, uh, saving her life. I guess he can also, uh, give credit to, uh, the leader of the ninjas for the lunar flying squirrel technique, so that was, that was sick, too. Um, he, he had a shot. But like I said, Tanabe and him are vibing. I wouldn't be surprised if they get together by the end of it. Though I don't know if it's it's that kind of story. But I wouldn't mind it. Also, the prologue we didn't talk about it. That was a cute prologue, man. They just they're just yeah. I love them. <laughs> uh, so fun, man. So fun. I guess we also got a look at the moon. Obviously, it's in domes, which made sense. Um. So people are living here. Um, which made sense. I, I was saying before that maybe the... The moon, I guess, is the obvious next choice for people to live. It's either the moon or Mars. Uh, Mars, I, I don't fucking know space. I I, th I think Mars has like, more potential to live on the surface or to terraform. But I guess the moon's closer. So if you have the technology, it's easier to live. I do want to like be... I want to live into like some, some some residential space travel. I don't know how far that is in the future, but like just sending like I guess it would probably be like important citizens at that point, but the early stages of sending citizens to like live on a planet. I want to be there. <laughs> I mean, I would I probably wouldn't be on the planet. Uh but it's exciting. I do like, you know, it's just it's not like I know anything about it, but I feel like it's just, like, the next logical step. Um, since this world is kind of degrading, because, I mean, you know, we all hope for to get more environmentally friendly, but it's a pipe dream. <laughs> it is a pipe dream. Uh, also, going back to, like, the original chasing, the, the, the jutsus were fun, man. They were fun. Human shuriken. Hot. Oh, honestly, most creative one where they... What did they name it? 
sorry. Uh, where was it? Tossing an Edeni technique. And that that's just Yokozuna, which is champion sumo. Just send him flying into a trash can to send more to send cans flying from the trash can. It's it's humongous brain, but it also like there's no reason for it. <laughs> Actually no reason for it. Love it anyways. Yeah. Also them like the ninjas going into the building, like you you gotta put respect on their name, but I also think it's just because they're also kind of dumb. <laughs> it's like, it's like a mix of bravery and stupidity because it really is a life threatening situation. But you gotta definitely give props to a uh, Hachi for his makeshift astronaut suit. You know, seeing seeing the flowers and he's just working that shit in his brain is like. He's, he's he's low key a genius, man. I mean, he's proven himself. I think episode two when he diverted the the debris into colliding with the the passenger uh, spaceship. That was kind of insane. Like we we've seen glimpses of uh of Hachi really pop off. And I don't know. Hopefully hopefully his efforts get um get get recognized one day. Cause he he, he definitely deserves it, man. He's he, it's kinda crazy. Of course, there's other side characters in this, too. Can't forget about the side characters. There's a uh, Chen and Tanabe's friend, whose name I don't know, on a date, so kind of popping off. Good for him. Uh, I was going to say maybe give them awards for best style, but ninjas are kind of sick. But Tanabe's friend is. I would play it honestly kind of sick with it. Chen's just, li Chen's just looks good, but hers is kind of sick. You know what I'm saying? And Fee, Fee's just chilling, man. Let let Fee chill. She, she's she's just relaxing. <laughs> I wonder if she knew. Pro probably not. Anyways, yeah, fun episode. Next episode, Hachi broken leg recovering. I assume uh, they were showing like a an old astronaut that kind of refuses to retire and. Uh, a girl that's what wondering about how Earth is. I wonder if she was born on the moon and never saw Earth. Because I guess that would be vice versa, right? Of what we're on. Because obviously, well, I don't know. A lot of people would want to experience the moon. I feel like it's vice versa if there's another person living on the planet. They really want to visit the Earth. But anyways, I think that's all I got, man. Before we end, I guess we should look up voice actors. Let's see what my anime list has. We might have to uh, go to that other site hold on planet has me so who are you looking i don't know if we can get all the all the asian people man um Uh, hold, hold, hold. Oh, I see the old Die for Nets episode. Roland Harry. Spoiled? Nope, not here. Go to Behind Voice Actors. Be, uh... Oh. Here we go. Show Japanese cast. All right, let's see. Let's find some of these. These spares. Um. Oh, Chad. That, that's the person. Uh. B was taking lunch with. We literally didn't let you see that conversation. Did the chat, huh? We got Chun. You got <laughs> Genojo. Jiraiya. Oh, uh, there's too much, man. Sanji. That's the monkey guy. 
Lucia. Excuse me? They don't even have the main guy. <laughs> Why do they have the other random weebs but not the main guy? It's kind of fucked up. They have Chad but not the main guy? Rip. Oh, he did fine. And they don't even have the hot girl. Hot weeb girl. Man. Oh, planet is anime voiceover. Wait, why would we look up voiceover? I am BD, our final hope. I'm just trying to, you know, put respect on the names. Damn, this is so much harder. I don't know their fucking names. Okay, that's enough. We got Chad by Tezu Oka. Profile picture kind of familiar. A quick look at behind the, my anime. Oh, he played Jiraiya. <laughs> the double whammy. Nothing. Let's check him on my anime list, I guess. Just the double check. 1948. Zero favorites. It's crazy. He's old. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I don't know him in anything. Chandis Bin Shamada. Bin. Bin Bin. Alright, what, what do you do, Bin? Bin Shamada. 63 favorites. Whoa, he has a big repertoire. Okay, hold, hold. Draws the same. Sanjay's Yusuke Numata. I forgot I slipped over Denojo. Denojo, not Denojo. All right, and Denojo's is Yoshiharu Yamada. My very first birthday. All right, let's check them. Let's, let's uh, check them out. Zero favorites. Man's in four anime. He's not a, oh yeah, I guess he wouldn't be credited. <laughs> this, this, this my anime is sad, that's sad. Okay. No favorites. February 1st, 1968. No fun facts. Here we go, you stay. He was Sanji, I believe. His hobbies are archery swimming, born 1968. Cool. Uh, do we know him in anything, though? He's Baby! From Dragon Ball GT. <laughs> hey, that's a character. And then Super, he's a bunch of randoms. Gregory? Oh, the... King Kai's thing. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z stuff, yes. Abo. Kind of popping off, high T. One Piece characters, side characters, Sensei side characters. He's the mouse dot of destruction from Dra Super Dragon Ball, Dragon, Dragon Ball Super. All right, there you go. Okay, let's see this heavyweight. Bin, 1954, currently employed by the talent management firm Ioni Productions, formerly belonged to Theater Echo. His real name is Shimada Satoshi. Satoshi me? Alright, but do I know him in anything? Baki. He's Doki! So that's kind of iconic. Any Akito enjoyers? Uh, see, money! <laughs> the money of soul and possibility of control. It's kind of ass, but the opening slaps so hard. Like most Nico touches the walls opening. Digimon Etros War. Dragon Ball GT. He's Tommy. He's Bobbity. He's a uh, Despo. He's Brawly. Wait, that's a huge role. He's Brawly. He's also the Hitler from the original Dragon Ball. 
Ergo Prati, who's amnesia? Wait, who's amnesia? I heckin' love Ergo Prati. I do, though. That show is goaded. One of my faves. He's just a random, though, side character. Uh. Gintana. Gendai. Kaiden Restaurant! I like that anime, man. Just kind of sick. Gundam stuff. Les Miraz Miserable? They made a an anime? Oh, it must be a Japanese dub, right? <laughs> I mean, maybe it's an anime. Naruto! Random guy. It's just a guy. Nintama Rantaro. Fatsy from One Piece. Hmm. Pip Pipimi? Rikao from Rikao? On Pond Man Classic. <sighs> Anything? No, 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 no. Nothing else I know. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool, cool. It's Brawly. <laughs> Brawley's bin, it's a wait, who's it? This was Chad, right? I don't know, but uh, they're side characters, anyways. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed. And next time, we'll uh, we'll see what Broken Laid Hotch is up doing, I think. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed. See you then. Peace.